Hi, I'm Janine from Gentle Warrior. Today I'm going to speak to you a little bit about the lower world in shamanism. There are three worlds. There's the lower, the middle and the upper. If you watch one of my previous videos, I've spoken to you about journeying already and how we can get down into um, the different worlds. So do watch that and then come back to this one if you like. Um, today we're specifically going to speak about five reasons to journey and travel through the middle realm and this is based on my experiences and experiences with my clients as well reason number one is nurturing this is the realm that is surrounded by trees those beautiful nurturing trees so it's a great starting point to get to know the different worlds especially for um, the beginners that are just learning how to journey Reason number two, it's where we meet our animal guides. Now, this isn't saying that this is the only world where we meet our, our animal guides, but it is the world where we can meet them more frequently. Through meeting our animal guides, we stand a great chance as well of meeting our power animal. And our power as, uh, animal are aspects of our own power, so they hold a lot of keys and answers for us to stand into our own power again and to take that control. Reason number three is the middle world has been linked to having the roots of our um, of being able to heal our emotions and our thoughts. So it's a great world to really go down and tackle those deep-seated emotions and those deep-seated thoughts that block us from being able to move forward. Reason number four is it's linked to the subconscious mind. So the subconscious mind holds every single thing that has ever happened to us. It's like this giant memory bank. So by journeying through to the lower world, we're able to access this memory bank easier and to really dig in there and to make those necessary changes so we can move forward. And then reason number five, it's a great place to recover our lost personal power. Even based on the things that we've said, it's a nurturing realm. We can work with our animal and power animals in order to, order to get the guidance of what is needed to claim that power back. It's where we can exit our conscious mind and delve deep into the subconscious mind to find out what is needed to get this back. Um, personal power is so easily lost during the day. Um, we willingly or unwillingly give it away. And this is our chance to stand fully back in our power again to move forward. So I hope that this has helped you. There'll be more videos to come on the other three worlds as well and so much more. So do keep in touch on my YouTube video, on my Gentle Warrior Facebook page. And if you want to get hold of me for sessions or just advice, um, I'm on www.yourgentlewarrior.com. Have a fantastic day and speak to you soon. Goodbye.